not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Mac. And today we're going to look at the 2023 teasers from Jamie Stegmeyer on what Stonemeyer Games is looking to release this year. Um, and actually, last year, uh, Pepper and myself did some predictions mm. on what we thought things meant, and How I think we did you? we did pretty good on a lot of them. I mean, we guessed that it, the expansion for Viticulture was going to be pretty big, yeah. but probably our biggest blunder is saying to each other, because I went back and looked at some of it, and I was like, uh, right straight up, we just said, I don't know how they could do a cooperative version of Viticulture. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our biggest miss, is that, um, but... They did. They did do it, and they pulled it off. So yeah. it was pretty impressive. So we did. I did not see that one coming. But <laughs> well, you can go He's back. He's very tricky. He, he is, and uh, we'll put a link to that one below so you can kind of see which ones we got yeah. right or wrong. I think we, I thought we did pretty good. Yeah. So we'll see how good we can do this year. I think I think the teasers are a little bit tougher than they were last year. I feel like these teasers are always very hard. <laughs> they are. They are pretty tough. But th these ones, I think, are a little bit tougher, even because I think we have less information to mm -hmm. work with. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll just get right into those. Uh, so the ones for this year are uh, a shiny addition to a current game and a shiny addition to a new game. Uh, then three big twists on alternate histories. A new time to order new games and a new way to add orders to a current game. The option to journey to planets, islands, Asia, and deep underwater. Oh, boy. New ways to see and see. S-E-A and yes. S-E-E. -E. Yes. I should have made that obvious. <laughs> well, you emphasize it. By, <laughs> by saying it. Two different ways. But there's no captions. <laughs> a course correct. And then the last one, there's a course correction for those who love to advance. Um, and then just kind of the things, because he's got a chart kind of showing the progress of the different projects he's got. And two of them are uh, the Wingspan nesting box, um, having to do with that a couple more times you can get it, different printings. Then the third tapestry expansion is supposed to be coming out, along with a tapestry custom insert. Um, and then he's got Wingspan vision-friendly cards coming out, um, along with, the, he's got two new games hopefully coming out with the code names Draw and Hive. So... That's kind of all we have to work with. Well. And he also dropped, I think, if I remember right, that the third Tapestry expansion uh, has kind of like the other ones had A and A and P and P. This mm -hmm. one has F and F. So I thought we could take a stab at what we think that that might be called. Um, and I'm just going to go uh, with what I think right away, and I'm guessing fame and fortune. Oh, that's a good one. Is my thought. but I My guess of friends and family now seems a little sad it could be friends and family <laughs> i was like what else do you need in a civilization you got arts and architecture plants and ploys but fame and fortune is a good one for sure hmm you can keep thinking if um but otherwise we'll go to a shiny addition to a current game and a shiny addition to a new game oh i see they i didn't realize addition that. And there's edition. addition and then addition yes so i'm guessing one of the draw or hive is going to be some game that you can kind of get a deluxe version yeah. or kind of a more retail version hmm. is what I'm guessing one of those is. Okay. But really, for Draw and Hive, I really don't know what they'll be. I think Draw was on, like, supposed to possibly be 2022, so I think me and oh. Jesse kind of talked about that one last year. Um, I think he's doing the bourbon, right? We thought that, but then they have Rolling Realms, so we thought, mm. I don't know that they do kind of almost back to, not back to back, yeah. but pretty close to each other. So then we were thinking it could either be like draw from a bag, or Jesse had talked maybe it was more of a dueling game. I was gonna like say draw. draw. Your, yeah. So there's a lot of different things, different ways that that could go. Mm -hmm. So I don't know which one would be more likely to have two mm -hmm. editions. I almost am thinking Hive because that just sounds like it could be a grand. Well, I know he big likes, grand game. likes Honey Buzz a lot. So yeah, I wonder if it would be bee related because hmm. that's really kind of I don't know one of the. Because he did a Honey Buzz. Rolling Realms expansion. Promo, yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yeah. I don't know if it'll be similar to that or... Now I'm trying to remember if the Honey Buzz guy is someone that he sometimes plays disc golf with. I wonder if they would do oh, a collaboration. Oh, I bet. I don't know. Still my They're taking that my... B theme and they're really... I don't know. It could be. I could see but, it. So, I'm guessing that one will be two editions of one of these 
game, well. if not both. And then the shiny addition to a current game, I'm really not sure because most of their games, they already have coins available mm -hmm. that would use coins. Yeah. Um, they do say insert for tapestry because in here it says, oh, you we have, may have already spoiled some of these below. Yeah. I don't know if I'd call that shiny unless he's just trying trying to get us to think shiny when really it isn't I actually it's shiny. Be like shiny. It's a new, maybe just more like a new thing. Yeah. And he's not adding any more buildings to Tapestry, so it's not, like, shiny. It could be. Um, and then kind of the new Wingspan cards, I was thinking otherwise, could have, um, if you had the collector's edition of um, Red Rising, Rising, you know, they have some of that foil stuff on the cards. I was wondering if maybe they'd do something like that for Wingspan, maybe a promo pack of hmm. special cards, maybe. Hmm. I feel like that additions. doesn't feel, like, that doesn't fit with the decor of Wingspan, but. Yeah. But Who knows? I don't know what else they could add, really. Yeah, I doubt he's going to work with metal pieces again after Red Rising, but I don't know. I, I feel like it has to be money or the card, the gold plating, so. Yeah. I don't, or gold leaf, whatever it is. Hmm. It'll be it'll be interesting, but yeah, it could just be, when he says shiny, it could just be pretty much yeah. talking kind of a new thing. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be actually shiny. That's true. He's very tricky. Uh, so, uh, then we have three big twists on alternate histories, and I don't know. The only alter, the only history type thing I think of when he mentions or some American yeah. mentions is the side Sorry. world um, being an alternate history. So I don't know if uh, well it says three big ways. So I don't know if they're gonna go back to that for maybe at least one I game. I thought they were done with Psy and. Well, I think they'd be done with Psy, but maybe maybe one of these new games is in the side world mm. um, or similar or kind of a similar type thing, only maybe a different uh, history. Yeah. I'm not sure. Otherwise, you, Euphoria could maybe. Mm. And it could be like a hive mind. Um, mm. So it could be kind of a, some other take on Euphoria or that world, possibly. Mm. Um, I don't know if that's another history. Yeah. It's kind of more of a futuristic utopia. Right. So I'm not sure on that. It's a big twist on... Mm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Unless it could be an alternate history where some birds that have become extinct are no longer extinct so now they're in the wingspan like a promo pack that's, of extinct birds that's a lot that's getting pretty deep but that it could is, be that is getting deep but yeah, mm. otherwise I, I that one i think these are a little more vague than last year it makes it yeah. a little more difficult but i guess with a tapestry expansion that's kind of always there's some historical context in there but right. It, it isn't actually following any real history <laughs> to begin with, so yeah. it's not really... Maybe we're going back to, like, the Stone Age, and it's going to be, like, flames and food or something like that. Foraging. That's flames true. It could foraging. be, it could be a, like, yeah, going back in time. Foraging flames. It could be. That could be what's happening. I don't uh, know. For sure. I, I, I am not sure. There could be a time twist on Tapestry where something like that happens. Yeah, it's the, um, pendul the pendulum timers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but then we've got a new time to order new games and a new way to add orders to a current game. Um, and all the last part of that, I don't know, for some reason I was thinking Rolling Realms, just because there's so many promo realms now, yeah. that maybe there'd be a way to kind of bundle those possibly, or buy, right. uh, you know, packs or like three of, in a, three of them together or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know if uh, otherwise, if it's, a new so time says, to order new games. Yeah, I don't know. I cause, He already does, like, pre, right? Well, the pre-orders for them is really, well, it's pre, it is a pre-order. So it's just, but it usually de delivers in, like, a month or two. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, and maybe that's relating, that part might be relating to uh, the Wingspan uh, nesting box. Oh. Because for this one, he tried something different where he's having people kind of put the money up front mm. um before actually putting it submitting an order to print the oh. print run of them sure so that might be what he's talking about hmm. i don't know that they try that with a brand new game like mm -hmm. just a totally different way True. to order probably just, not this way they kind of have it set with what the game or what the people are getting try it on your number one seller right um so yeah, otherwise, the next one's the option to journey to planets, islands, Asia, and deep underwater. This is <laughs> so, so strange to me. That's just a lot going on again. And the only one that I, I kind of stuck out to me was Asia, possibly. I know a lot of people have really liked the Asia wingspan mats. Mm. Um, and 
I don't think he's said he doesn't plan on like printing more of those or giving you away or like selling individual mats that have that specific artwork on them. Okay. But I was thinking maybe he he would change his mind and um, if people really liked him, make those available possibly mm -hmm. um, to buy. Uh, just because hmm. it has a nice new fresh look to it that right. a lot of people have liked. But otherwise, yeah, that's Journey to Planets, Islands, Asia, and Deep Underwater. The thing with the Tapestry uh, expansion, like hard. we said, is, I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want with kind of civilization type games. So you could really do all these things. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose you're already going to space and tapestry, so yeah. maybe it, it's additional... Space, space tiles? tiles, planets, not 100% sure. Mm. Um, I don't know that they'd add more tracks. So it's kind of yeah, like None of the games really have a whole lot to do with space other than... Right. And I would say Deep Underwater could be Libertalia, but those are airships now, so I don't right. know that that makes sense to go underwater, but I suppose uh, you could. Deep Underwater. If you had an expansion. They don't... It, has, it isn't listed that there's a mm. planned expansion to Libertalia, but if they did, mm. it could go. And Red Rising Deep is... Underwater. Well, Red Rising's in space, but that's probably not it. And uh, they have nothing to do with water, so... Yeah, I've, the option to... Otherwise, it's... really doesn't matter a whole it's another, It could be a, one of these new games. That's true. I think that just... That's what makes it really difficult. Mm -hmm. um, last year, I think there was at least a lot of speculation leading up that... Um, I don't remember what the code name was for Libertalia. I think it was Sale. Mm. I think there was just a lot of speculation that it was going to be Libertalia, yeah. so that made it a lot easier to guess some of those. Right. But now, um, yeah, this Planets, Islands, Asia, and Deep Underwater, that's just tough. Um, but yeah, I could, I mean, it kind of makes sense for Wingspan, too. I think Wingspan yeah. and Tapestry both have the option of exploring different areas and stuff, so... Well, that would be interesting. I feel like Islands would have been in the Oceania expansion if he's talking like Pacific Islands and stuff. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, could definitely see that being a lot of things. Yeah. Um, but then new, got a lot to work with. <laughs> new ways to see and see. So this is where I was thinking that it could possibly be like a Libertalia expansion. Mm. And it could be, maybe it goes with that underwater. Maybe they do an expansion of something mm -hmm. underwater. I don't know exactly what you'd do with that, but, um, yeah. If nothing else, I, I mean, could just be more cards. Right, yeah. And then to see, I was thinking that probably is the wingspan visual Yeah. Um, friendly cards. Mm -hmm. It's probably what that is. I feel like um, that's solid. Probably the best guess on that one. Uh, and then the last one, a course correction um, for those who love to advance. The only thing I could think of for this one was tapestry, because you're advancing. I was going to uh, say, I feel like that is the only thing, like, because the advancement, uh, their advancement that tracks. That seems really crazy. And then... If there's going to be a way to maybe move to a different advancement track oh, and have multiple. Lord help me. <laughs> be interested. I, <laughs> the thing is, it probably won't be about tapestry, well, but said, if it is, it gets me interested. In. I guess he said course correction, so that could be it. But part of me is wondering if it is in just, like, the, the fixes for the start civilization, or for the civilizations. That's true. That, that's a good point. Because, um, yeah, he, I know he's been working on that. So that could be something that they're possibly planning on doing maybe towards the end of the year once the last expansion gets out yeah. and they maybe have some more civilization. But they could do it with that last expansion, too. Well, I mean, they could. But that's assuming that those new ones are balanced with everything that they've just done. Well, why wouldn't he play it that plan it that way, though? You don't think so? Oh, I suppose well, he plans like he years planned, in advance. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming he planned the originals to be <laughs> thought of as yeah. all balanced, and that has not been the case. Yeah. No. That is what he gets the most flack for. So, I know. Um, I just have a feeling <laughs> people will let him know if some of them seem unbalanced. Because mm -hmm. they definitely true. have uh, so far. But That's true. Yeah, I don't know. This year's a lot tougher. Um, yeah, I don't know. Definitely let us know in the comments below if you can think of anything, if Draw and Hive kind of speak to you at all as mm -hmm. to what those games could be. Because, uh, yeah, I'd, I could see, and maybe Draw is some sort of, maybe it's an underwater game where mm -hmm. you're drawing and going deeper and deeper, and that's the underwater, and that's the sea. Could be. I don't know. Um, it definitely could be. Yeah, I don't know. He he picks some solid some solid code names. It is interesting though, because like C isn't like technically like 
you think ocean, right? When you think like deep underwater, like mm -hmm. sea is like the Black Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, like little inlets of ocean. Yeah, so, but that doesn't work as well if you say a new way to know, sea though. and ocean. I don't know though. <laughs> James sometimes is a new super, way to sea and ocean. <laughs> James is super clever with these though. Sometimes that's true. So. The sea, maybe there's a deep underwater trench somewhere there. Maybe we are doing something with the trench. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm excited for this year to come. Um, you know, like I said, let us know in the comments below if you're excited for any of these. If uh, I think the Tapestry Third Expansion, I'm always I really love Tapestry, so I'm always excited for that. So I can't wait to see what that has to bring. And all of these little teasers sound interesting. <laughs> so I'm always down for hopefully. anything. I'm down to try anything Jamie puts out there. And so. it'll be interesting too to see the box organizer for this. Um, yeah. I'm kind of surprised that. Um, he didn't look for input on it because he did for the nesting box. So I don't know if he didn't like the input that he'd gotten from that. It's hmm. um, just kind of interesting to me Maybe that he'd do it for that. Maybe it wasn't as helpful as he thought. Or... But tapestry isn't as complicated maybe as Wingspan. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people have their own stuff, you know, own inserts and stuff for Wingspan. So he probably wanted yeah. to make sure that people's stuff fit in there. That's whereas true. tapestry, I don't... People have some things, but not yeah. as much, I don't think. Right. It's not as yeah. highly customized. Right. So, yeah. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, we hope to see you on the next video. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.